Hello everyone, this is a video responding to a recent PragerU video titled The Charlottesville Lie. That video is discussing the media's response to President Trump's controversial comments in the wake of the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville back in 2017, and the description to that video on the PragerU website reads, Did President Trump call neo-Nazis very fine people during a famous press conference following the Charlottesville riots of 2017? The major media reported that he did. But what if their reporting is wrong? Worse, what if their reporting is wrong, and they know it's wrong? A straight exploration of the facts should reveal the truth. That's what CNN political analyst Steve Cortez does in this critically important video. As always, I would suggest you watch that video first, it is only five minutes long. Also, I'm not going to be going through the events of the Unite the Right rally in detail here, as I've already done that in my video titled Charlottesville, the true alt-right. So if you need a refresher, I'd advise you also go and watch that first. It's only uh, 53 minutes long, right? So then, PragerU's main argument is that the mainstream media lied about Trump's comments with regards to the Unite the Right rally by omitting that he distinguished between the neo-Nazis and white supremacists at the rally and those apparently there to merely protest the removal of Confederate statues. By apparently omitting this information, various media outlets were then free to allegedly claim that Trump was calling the Nazis fine people. In typical PragerU fashion, however, they provide absolutely no evidence of their main claim. They just tell you that it's true and expect you to take their word on the matter. Now, instead of citing any actual news articles to back up their claims, they instead show this cartoon newspaper that they made up, remember, which says, Trump describes neo-Nazis as very fine people. And then they argue with that. So we have to ask, uh, why no actual non-cartoon sources here? They elsewhere cite an actual New York Times article when attempting to back up a different claim, so I don't believe that this refusal to cite articles as evidence is a stylistic choice. There must be another reason why they don't want to show you the evidence. Now, PragerU don't cite any specific articles, but they do mention several news networks and newspapers as being the ones that supposedly spread the lie. Uh, here, where they say, Plainly put, ABC, CBS, NBC, NPR, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and others spread a malicious lie that has poisoned our national dialogue. So we have our list of culprits here. These are the vile organisations that neglected to mention Trump differentiated between the groups of protesters and that he condemned the Nazis. How allegedly manipulative of them. Only, here's the thing. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? That's ABC News there, reposting the clip of Trump condemning neo-Nazis to their Twitter feed and linking to a story in which they say, he went on to question why the statue of Civil War General Robert E. Lee was being removed, which prompted the protest. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very important statue, and the naming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name, he said. So ABC didn't spread the lie there. They spread Trump's condemnation of neo-Nazis and made clear that Trump thought some people were there simply to protest the removal of the statue. So Prager, you got that one wrong. Uh, how about CBS? I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups, but not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. That's CBS showing a clip of Trump condemning neo-Nazis above a news story which also contains quotes showing that Trump distinguished between the groups of protesters. NBC put out an article that quotes Trump as saying, Trump defended the protest that led to the violence and contended that some of the individuals carrying torches at the white nationalist rally did not have bad intentions. You had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, and the press has treated them absolutely unfairly, Trump said. Trump repeatedly stressed that the rally started over the potential removal of a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Uh, next up, NPR. He ultimately uh, did criticize as neo-Nazis and Klansmen mm -hmm. and, and white supremacists, but he said that description didn't fit everyone who was taking part in these demonstrations. Not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. Not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. He went on to say that uh, some of the demonstrators were there to protest the taking down of a statue of Robert E. Lee, 
That's a clip of NPR taken from the same day as Trump's comments there, so that's them off the hook as well. Uh, Next up is the New York Times. They put out an article that says, Mr. Trump defended those gathered in a Charlottesville park to protest the removal of a statue of Robert E. Lee. I've condemned neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups, he said. Not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me, and so on. There's one more thing to be said about this singling out of the New York Times by PragerU here. Elsewhere in the video, they say the following. Lest you have any doubts that good people were in Charlottesville to protest the removal of the Robert E. Lee statue, the New York Times confirmed it in a story they published the next day, August 16th. And then they quote someone who says, well, I was there and I'm not a Nazi, so, you know. Now, the thing to note here is that PragerU cite the New York Times as their only evidence that some good people were at the Unite the Right rally, then later criticised the New York Times for lying about the Unite the Right rally. I mean, if the New York Times were apparently so dedicated to pushing this anti-Trump lie, why would they release an article that contradicts it? You know, can we trust the New York Times or not, Prager you? Just when they agree with what you're saying, I guess. Probably that, yeah. Uh, Lastly, the Washington Post. Trump emphasised repeatedly that he believed many of the Unite the Right rally participants were not members of hate groups and were there to protest the pending removal by the city of a statue of the Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Every single news organisation that PragerU names as having participated in the so-called Charlottesville lie reported exactly what PragerU claims they didn't. They all made clear in their reporting following the press conference that Trump distinguished between the groups of protesters. PragerU is lying about these news organisations. They all reported exactly what Donald Trump said, and I will leave links to these news stories below if you'd like to check them out. So what happened here then? Well, the media did criticise Trump for his fine people on both sides statements, but this was not because they were lying about what he said. They actually criticised Trump for two different valid reasons. The first reason was because of his previous comments on the matter, which PragerU omit from their narrative here. They present an incorrect version of the timeline of events. You see, the press conference at which President Trump made those statements was not, as PragerU implied, the first time that Trump addressed violence at the rally. He'd actually made prior statements to the press about the incident. And let's use PragerU's little calendar here. So we have the rally on the 11th and the 12th there. Their little cartoon Trump on August 15th here might give you the impression that he didn't say anything on the matter until that point, uh, but that's not true. Trump's first comments to the press came on August 12th, shortly after the rally, when he said, We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry and violence on many sides. So Trump is drawing a moral equivalence there, much like his later fine people on both sides comment. Only here, on August 12th, Trump did not distinguish between groups of Unite the Right attendees, nor did he name or condemn the white supremacists or neo-Nazis. In fact, he specifically ignored journalists asking him questions on the matter and just wanders off. Mr. President, do you want the support of these white nationalist groups who say they support you, Mr. President? Mr. President, have you you denounced them strongly enough? A car plot in a group of people, would you call that terrorism, sir? Now, this refusal to condemn the white supremacists earned Trump very harsh criticism from various places. Not just the liberal news organisations that PragerU doesn't like, mind, but also from the Republican Party. Senator Cory Gardner said, Mr. President, we must call evil by its name. These were white supremacists, and this was domestic terrorism. Marco Rubio said, Very important for the nation to hear the president describe events in Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by white supremacists. Senator Orrin Hatch's office tweeted his statement, My brother didn't give his life fighting Hitler for Nazi ideas to go unchallenged here at home. And John McCain also gave a statement specifically calling out white supremacists and neo-Nazis. And all of this was much reported in the press, so what's the takeaway from this? Well... Trump's refusal to condemn neo-Nazis was already a huge news story before his comments on August 15th, and he had not at that point made clear that he was distinguishing between different groups of Unite the Right attendees. PragerU act like this controversy started on August 15th, but it actually started three days earlier, on August 12th. 
They are lying by omission here. Now, two days later, on August 14th, Trump was forced by the negative reaction in the press and his own political party to back down and condemn racism, finally. He read a prepared statement to the press saying that the KKK and neo-Nazis ETC are bad. So, well done to President Trump there for eventually clearing that incredibly low bar. Now, this brings us to Trump's comments on August 15th at the press conference that PragerU is concerned with. His comments here actually reignited the controversy which already existed because Trump defends his first comments on the matter when he's asked about them by saying things like, yes, I think there's blame on both sides. So this press conference was seen as a backpedal by Trump. First, he refused to condemn white supremacy, and then he was forced to read a prepared statement doing so, but then here, off script again, he's back to saying this both sides rubbish. This is the first reason for Trump being criticised here. He defended his earlier decision to both spread the blame and decline to mention or condemn the white supremacists and Nazis. The second reason that Trump was criticised after this press conference is that the claim that there were some fine people at the Unite the Right rally peacefully protesting the removal of the statue is ridiculous and incorrect. There were not fine people at the rally. It was explicitly organised as a white supremacist neo-Nazi rally. Nazi iconography was everywhere. The listed speakers were white supremacists and neo-Nazis. It was organised by white supremacists and neo-Nazis. There was absolutely no confusion about who these people are or what they believe. Yes, the cats, yeah. And here's something else that Prager you leave out of the narrative here. When Trump says there were people at the rally to quietly protest the removal of the statue, he lets us know exactly who he's talking about. Trump at one point says, but they were there to protest, excuse me, if you take a look, the night before they were there to protest the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. And then later he says, no, no, there were people in that rally and I looked the night before. If you look, there were people protesting very quietly the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. I'm sure in that group there were some bad ones. The following day, it looked like they had some rough bad people. Neo-Nazis, white nationalists, whatever you want to call them. So Trump is saying that on August 12th, there were some rough bad people. But the night before, at the August 11th torch rally... That was the quiet protest against the removal of the statue, which contained the fine people, as well as some bad ones. This graphic that PragerU uses in their video to show the president condemning the white nationalists at the torch rally is therefore a ridiculous lie, because it was exactly this group that he was saying was a mix of good and bad people. So let's take a look at that torch rally very briefly, and we'll see if we can spot the difference between the fine people and the bad ones. <laughs> This is the reason that Trump was criticised. His distinguishing between the good and bad people here is a lie. All these people are neo-Nazis. They were all chanting, Jews will not replace us, and blood and soil, which is a Nazi slogan. If Trump meant any of these people when he said there were some fine people at the rally, he was calling neo-Nazis fine people. The trick PragerU are attempting to pull is this. The president was criticised for his reluctance to condemn neo-Nazis and white supremacists. He at first refused to do so, only backing down after first waiting multiple days and being criticised by his own political party. Then the next day he backpedalled to his initial claim that there were some good people at the explicitly neo-Nazi organised torch rally, despite the clearly available counter-evidence to that. This true version of events is indefensible, so PragerU simply pretend that something different happened. They pretend that the president openly and eagerly condemned white supremacists and that the media reported that he did not. This did not happen. The media reported Trump's comments in full, including his condemnation of the neo-Nazis. The Charlottesville lie is itself a lie. 
I actually suspect this video title is a work in progress title that they forgot to change later, like snakes on a plane or something. Lying about a neo-Nazi rally and pretending some good people were there in order to attack various news organisations they don't like is awful and dangerous and PragerU should be ashamed. Uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone, it's just a short video this one that I wanted to get out as quickly as possible. I thought it was better to interrupt my work on my next very long video in order to get this one out promptly. And such is my haste here that I'm not even doing the credits properly, uh, so thank you to all my patrons. Uh, everyone who has signed up to the credits tier over on Patreon will be in the credits of my next video. Uh, I hope you understand why I'm rushing with this one, so apologies to my patrons for that. And for all you non-patrons out there, there is a link to my Patreon below if you'd like to be party to future disappointments. Uh, that's all from me today, folks, and I'll see you next time.